Yo, welcome back to Kevin's Woodworking. Today I got something good for you. We're gonna be taking our black Canadian walnut and taking this bottle opener, connecting the two together, and you already know what's about to go down. Let's get into it. First thing, y'all know what to do. We gotta put this bad boy in the lathe. All right, so we're putting in the lathe. I already got our ends marked. All right, we got it in there. Let's get into it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for watching the videos, liking the videos, and sharing my videos. Right now I'm working on building a website so I can sell my pieces. But if you happen to see a piece that you like and you would like to buy, just hit me up on my business email. My email is listed in my YouTube bio. It's kevinswoodworking12 at gmail.com. Thank you. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And welcome to the family. Also, please leave a comment with um, a suggestion of what you would like to see me build next. And I will look into it and try to build it. It doesn't have to be anything on the lathe. So I'm curious to see what you guys would like to see. Going in with the 60 grit. We just got done with the 60 grit. We're going in with the 120. Going in with the 220 now. That's the piece after 220. Now we're bumping it up to 320. That's it after 320. We're gonna hit it with that thousand. Now, as you can tell, all of them scratches there, you have to go back and you have to sand with the grain. That's because when we're sanding it on the lathe, it's um, not going with the grain. So you have to go back and sand with the grain to make everything look perfect. All right, now we're gonna cut these ends off, you know, so we can put our piece in there. Let's get into it. There's one end. Let's go to the next end.
and that right there is going to be our handle. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drill this right here so we can get our opener in there. All right, everybody, so I do apologize here where I had the um, drill battery right in front of the camera lens. Um, that's a rookie mistake on my behalf, and honestly, it's unfortunate, but I do apologize. Sometimes it just is what it is. I mean, I really don't know what else to say. It's crazy because um, this phone call right here is actually oh. my cameraman who Somebody is obviously me. late to the party and probably would have... Uh, right had that last shot right there a little bit better with the drill battery in front of the lens got a hole nice and drilled let's see how far we need it let's see here let's see if we've been that far I think we've been that far Alrighty, now we're gonna mix up some epoxy and put this bad boy in here. All right, guys, so we got our piece right here like this. Now we're gonna mix our epoxy. We don't need too much of it. Probably literally all we need right there. I'm gonna close that down. Got a little mixing stick here. We're just gonna mix this up. Just like so. Now we're going to take our thing. And I just want to put all that all over here. All in them grooves. One second. Hope you guys can see that. And I'm also going to try to put some down in the hole right here. Now we should just be able to screw it in. Let me get a little rag so I can wipe off this excess. I apologize for uh, breathing like a horse right here. <clears throat> Make sure we got it nice and tight. Wipe off that excess. And there we go, guys. Got us a nice bottle opener right here. I'm going to put some, get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to throw some oil in here. All right, guys, so we're just going to use some regular cutting board oil just to seal this wood and bring out the grain a little bit. We're going to see what it looks like. There we go, guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. It didn't take that long. We did make our beautiful bottle opener. 
is looking absolutely gorgeous. If you like this type of content, please subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you to everybody tuning in. I'm gonna implement some pictures of this bad boy and some, you know, some little bit of footage at the end so y'all can see it up close. And I might even show you it in use. Peace out. All right, guys, so I told you I was gonna show you it in action. Here it is. Beautiful piece. Catch you in the next one.